So what's up guys, in this video we're going to be opening up the Celebrations Elite Trainer Box but in this video we're going to switch it up a bit and see can we make profit from a Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up, see what the pools are, see what the value of those pools are and see does it beat the value of the retail. Obviously most time Pokemon is a probably a gamble, it's <laughs> pretty much gambling, you're not guaranteed to make your money back, you're not guaranteed to get your value worth of pulls every single time you can see we've done the 10 ETB opening so you can calculate an average in that video as well but in this specific video we're going to open one ETB and see if we can beat the value of the ETB but please bear in mind this might not be the case every single time uh, you might not you might open an ETB and not get profit you might open the ETB and make mad profit like you may pull the Umbreon um, the, the few cards that might be worth more than ETB already are the Umbreon Gold Star Golden Mew and Cherizard. All those cards are about over 60 pounds currently. So that would, if you pull one of those, you're automatically in profit, I'd say. But oh, look at that. One celebration pack almost went in the bin. Gotta be careful there, guys. Uh, but obviously, you got all these bits and bobs you could sell. But we're gonna go base it off pulls and the promo. So the promo is about seven, eight quid. I will put accurate market values here so then we can add it up at the end of the video. So boom, let's go. Greninja there. So after we're done uh, opening, I will add up all the pools and then tell you guys in this video how much is it worth currently at the end of today's date. Because prices do vary, it might drop in the future, it might go up, etc, uh, etc. Et Alright, we're going to start with Vivid Voltage. Do we do the card trick? I guess we do the card trick, it's only one ETB. So boom. Alright, let's go. We'll go through it fairly quickly. You've got Stun Fist, Aromatic Energy, Ryalu, Sandile. Weedle, Welma, Belda, Zacian, let's go, so that is, that is very good, so you get these five sort of shield error packs, and then if you can pull anything out of there, it really does help, you can pull some awesome secret errors that probably beat the value alone, like if you pull a rainbow Pikachu from a vivid voltage, you're automatically, what, it's 100 plus, 100, 200 pound card, the rainbow Pikachu, so you could be lucky enough to pull that, uh, battle styles, you could pull, alternative art tyrant and empoleons which would have a little bit of value but obviously it's not all about profit i'm just doing this because you guys love this sort of content i'm opening these boxes making a loss most of the time but just because i enjoy chasing those cards you know what i mean but it's not all about profit it's not all about the money but obviously if you're spending a lot of money can you make it back and that's the question you guys all have and is it worth buying this product is it worth buying what other product should i do on next let me know the ultra premium box we'll see what that is saying maybe the gold cards are worth more than the box alone so we'll see what the market price of those saying on release date maybe i'll do a video then but let me know in the comments which products what well, uh do you want to see a profit video we've done it before recently we started doing it recently and they've been doing very 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 well uh with celebrations not celebrations evolving skies I think, and I think I've done some more, but I can't remember which ones. I think it was Evolving Skies that started doing it, and it did really, really well. So, hopefully, you guys do like the content, do appreciate it. So, yeah, let's go. Gollet, Skiddy, Dino, Jigglypuff, Spike Monk, and Gottfried Tell. Come on. Let's see. Oh, oh, I see full art. That could mean we're going to get a full art. So, that is definitely going to help us and beat the value today so if you're pulling those high-end hits here it does really really help so hopefully it's going to be a banger zangoose and a galarian moltres full art what a way what a way to do this video guys to pull a banger like this and the zassian so it's very hard to, I, I don't know obviously being main sets the pull rates are less likely than say celebrations uh so it's good that we pull two pulls and we'll get into the i'll put the values there anyways so you guys would have seen what it's worth um, but yeah, let's go And I would base it off the lowest asking price and recent sold I'll work out on average But I should do it like this, but we've already seen it We're not gonna go value the hollows because this hollows I don't think are gonna be worth much now because there's probably thousands on the market and probably people selling them for 99p After postage and fees you're probably left with if you got like micro payments like 10p a card So it's not worth it, but the surfing Pikachu about two pounds. You gotta bear in mind postage and fees i do remember that so like this card's a two pound fifty card or whatever it's going to be but after fees after shipping you're probably left with half of that so near enough so yeah surfing pikachu there yeah so bear in mind the fees so it's not exactly profit but we will value it off pools um and then you just go and work out your own fees and shipping but ho ho oh professor's research and soldier Jale soldier leo uh but yeah but we got 
Imposter Professor Oak from the classic collection there. Again, again, I believe another two pound card. So now the two three pound card, not too high end. We need to see if we can get any of them high end pulls uh, to help us get over that mark. But Zekrom, Cosmog, and a Mew regular. If we pull that golden Mew, like I said, that probably bring us straight over um, the ETV retail value. All right, we've got Ho Ho, Palkia, Dialga, and Zamazenta. Another low value card as well. So this probably be a couple pence after shipping and fees. Come on, hopefully we can beat the value. Wanna pull maybe a Gold Star Umbreon? Those seem to be popular or quite often in these ETVs. Wyvertail, Kyoga, and Lunala. So just all hollows. Halfway now, come on. Pray for me guys, hopefully we can make the profit. Obviously if we don't make profit, it does show you, you can't win every single time. And in some videos, in some of our profit videos, we don't win, so. Oh, Zekrom, this one's a good one. This one, holding around the 10 pound mark, this in the Reshiram, Ram, so definitely decent from the black and white base, the first full art. So Zekrom there, decent, decent. So that's, a, that's one of our big hits. First big hit from Celebrations, so not too bad. All right, we've got Cosmog. Oh, Rocket Zapdos there. So I think this one's about the six, seven pound range. Obviously the accurate market price is in the corner because I don't know all the prices and it does fluctuate. It could change from today and tomorrow. It could go up, it could go down, you never know. So yeah, the accurate market price is on screen. I'm just saying what I know on top of my head. So we've got Ho-Ho, Groudon, Reshiram, and a Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu once again. Come on, two more packs. We need some more classic collections, if not the Golden Mew to help us here, but obviously we did get those pulls earlier on, so those could help us as well, we'll see. But Kyogre, Cosmog, and a regular Pikachu from uh, base set Pikachu full art. So the full art version of the original base set Pikachu. And there, oh, I see something here, my bad. Zekrom. Oh, what a whammy. I saw full art and there's only one full art card here. So yes, Professor's Research full art. And then the Gardevoir EX. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to price up all the pools we've pulled today and then work out have we made profit, have we not. So today's date is 14th of October. I'm going to upload it same day because it's a good uh, video idea. You guys love it. So have we made profit, guys? Let me know in the comments now. And yeah, I'll tell you if we have in a second. So boom, guys, you're wondering, what is the total value of all the pulls we managed to pull in this video from one single ETB? And the total is 77 pounds and 20 pence. So retail value is 52.50. We're pretty much, what, 25 pounds above? But I reckon what saved us is this Galarian Moltres because this is worth 25 pounds on its own. I just checked now. Lowest ask is about 25, so this should sell for 25 easily. So without this, I think we would have broke even. But then again, I did put the value of the promo as well. So without the promo, without this, we wouldn't, wouldn't be in profit really from the pools alone. So obviously, if you do pull maybe the Gold Star, Armory on the Cherizard or the Golden Mew, you're automatically over uh, retail value with those cards. Uh, the Blastoise, the Venusaur's are about £20 now. So if you pull them, you're not really going to make your profit back. But it doesn't matter about the profit, it doesn't matter about the value. You go pull the Blastoise and that's the card that you really, really want. And that is worth it to you to open that ETB to pull that. And just having that feeling again. Uh, obviously, a lot of people feeling back like as a kid back in the 90s from opening this set. Pulling those older cards that look, they're nearly identical apart from the 25th and obviously the hollow pattern. It's crazy, like the the Watsy borders on some of these, like this is from base set. You can see the borders there, just look near original. So it, it doesn't matter about the value as such, but as long, as long as you have fun. But today's video, we did make profit. Luckily, getting lucky with the Glaring Moltres. Obviously, we've got the Zacian as well in the extra pack. Sometimes you don't get that many pulls in the extra packs. So we got very blessed with that. So guys, let me know how you've been doing. Have, what's your biggest banger out the extra packs? As well as what is your biggest banger out of celebrations? Let me know down in the comments, guys. Like and subscribe if you're new here. If you want me to do this with any other celebrations products, then give me recommendations down below. A Charizard box, a Sylveon box, a Zacian figure collection, Dragon Ball. Let me know which one you want to do a profit video on next, and we will do it. Guys, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.